Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at the clouds in the atmosphere of Venus. After all, it's the clouds that prevent us from seeing the surface in visible light. And the only way that we're able to see what the surface looks like it was to use the radar technology. So the clouds, where they're at? Well, they are situated somewhere between a height of 50 and 70 kilometers above the surface. Now, when we say about the surface, we say above the average elevation of the surface because obviously there are some low valleys and some high mountains. So when we take the average elevation of the surface, that's where we assume the start of the surface is. And then from that point, between 50 and 70 kilometers, this is where we're going to find the clouds in the atmosphere of Venus. There are three distinct layers. There's an upper layer, a middle layer, and a lower layer. But all of these clouds are primarily made of sulfuric acid. So they're sulfuric acid clouds, and wouldn't you know it, they produce sulfuric acid rain. So just like on the Earth, we have clouds and they rain water. On Venus, we have clouds and it rains sulfuric acid. Now the clouds, where they're situated in the atmosphere, this is about 30 to about 45 miles or so, so 50 to 70 kilometers. The temperature is very comparable to the temperature in our atmosphere. Not quite 71 degrees centigrade, that's quite hot, but when it gets down to minus 40 degrees centigrade, where the jet liners fly, that's pretty well the temperature that they encounter in most places around the world. So again, the clouds appear to be in a layer that has a temperature that's kind of comparable to what we would find in the Earth's atmosphere. But differently, instead of having clouds that contain water, we have clouds that contain sulfuric acid. It's a very thick layer and there's no way that visible light can make it through in any kind of quantity. So, for example, we're not able to take pictures of the surface because of this thick cloud layer. It turns out that above the cloud layer there's a region of about 15 kilometers, about 10 miles, that is very hazy called the upper haze, and then there's a region of about 20 kilometers below the bottom part of the cloud layer, which is also quite hazy. That's called the lower haze, so where the visibility is quite poor in that region. Then below it, it becomes clear, so for about 20 miles or 30 kilometers, we have kind of a clear atmosphere where you can see through. But so little light filters through those thick cloud layers that it's not that the visibility is quite poor even at the surface and so the visibility is assumed to be about three kilometers which is about two miles so it's kind of like driving around at dusk and kind of seeing shadowy regions around it you don't see things very clearly around now the reason why the sulfuric acid doesn't quite make it all the way to the bottom is because it's quite hot here. Notice that at 50 kilometers the temperature is already 71 degrees centigrade. Pretty quick you get to the boiling point, then you get lower than that and you get to the boiling point of the sulfuric acid. So the rain droplets of sulfuric acid slowly will then turn into vapor, vaporize, rise back up and start mixing with the clouds again. So the hydrological cycle on Venus doesn't quite reach the surface, it kind of stays up in the atmosphere. It collects in layers of clouds. When it rains sulfuric acid, they evaporate and they join back again. So we have this continual cycle without actually having sulfuric acid making it all the way down to the surface. So that's what it looks like on Venus. It's those darn clouds that don't allow us to see what the surface looks like. And it's part of the reason why we have to use that radar technology to figure out exactly what the surface looks like. Anyway, that's the clouds on Venus. Kind of interesting. They are made of sulfuric acid, something to stay away from.